So when you were growing up, uh, did your parents experiment with you uh, in different sports and, and finally you decided that basketball was your? Uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't so much my parents experimented. They, they, you know, were open to us playing whatever. You know, my dad, you know. He was a football player, a really good football player, and you know he didn't even let us play uh, tackle football until I was in eighth grade. You know he wanted us to try everything. He wanted us to play baseball, he wanted us to swim, play golf, soccer, basketball, everything. So just to kind of get a feel, and you know his thing is the more sports you play, like soccer, just you know foot, foot coordination, footwork, and all that stuff. So he thinks you know everything you play, you know helps to whatever you pick at the end. Was it your decision or your parents' decision to, 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 to finally focus you in on basketball? Oh, it was definitely my decision. That's not how my parents are. They, they're the kind of parents that, you know, let us decide for ourselves. Um, you know, they give us the tools and everything and let us decide. It was definitely my, my decision 100% and, you know, they backed me up. What was, this, what was the second, what was your second uh, favorite that you became the best at? Probably baseball probably came the easiest. Actually, baseball and football probably came the easiest for me just because it's just, Baseball was just fun to me. I mean, I could go out and, you know, without hitting for a month or two and, you know, just go out and play and have fun. And, um, so, either baseball or football. What positions were you in each? First base and pitched uh, in baseball and football. My freshman year of high school, I was like a, I was a wide receiver and a safety. And then, um, probably would have ended up being a tight end. I did, I, I played a little more tight end towards the end, but um, uh, tight end defensive end. I do. I do. Yeah, my bro it was actually my brother's t-ball game, and they were ahead by a lot. And I was the kid, the little brother that was always out there, you know, like waiting, you know, with my helmet and my, my hat, and my glove. And um, so the coach like called me over, and he's like, "Do you want to hit?" And I was like, "Yeah, of course I want to hit." Um, yeah, and I just remember getting up there and you know, nervous. You know, that was the biggest crowd I played in front of at the time. Um, and just, you know, trying to hit the ball as hard as I could. Your dad said you got a double the first time and a triple the second time? Double the first time and triple the second time. Yeah, it, uh, it was a lot of fun. I just remember hitting and taking off running. That pressure should prepare you all for this. Oh, yeah. I mean, with, with those parents in the stands and all that, I feel, feel like that prepared me for this moment right here. So. Did so. you play baseball before basketball? Yeah, baseball was a... Uh, on my team, I think so no baseball was the first sport, soccer was the second, and um, then basketball. And uh, when did you start playing? Six. I started playing organized sports at age six. Yeah. And when did you uh, start just focusing only on the basketball? Only on basketball. My sophomore year of high school is when I just stopped playing everything else. Is it still a lot to take in being in this position and sort of going through where you are right now? It, it, a little bit. You know, it's it's. Uh, it's one of those things where looking back on it, I'll probably be like, "Oh wow, you know, I experienced all that." But you know, in the moment, I'm so busy, and it's been a it's been a whirlwind that I don't really stop to think about it like that.